Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers, part of programming of API series. In this video, we are going to see how RPG flow variable works. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an RPG Edge account, which is free, can register at rpg.com slash edge. And you need basic understanding of API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. In this video, we are going to see how we can do API programming in RPG Edge by using the flow variables and doing an API management like reading or setting a new variables that can be sent to the target server without changing any code in the target side. Let's talk about API programming and flow variables. I'm sure everyone is familiar with this code in C where you can read the arguments that is given to the program using argv and then you can program based on your requirements. Similarly, what if, if we can able to read all the API request and response variables at the API layer so that you can build an API in the API layer without changing the legacy services at the backend. Let's take a look at that with an example. Let's say there is a backend and there is a client and the API flows through an Apache Edge. So whenever an API flows through Apache Edge, Apache automatically populates many flow variables that you can use to change how API works before you send the API request to the backend. For example, you can read a query param in APG Edge that is sent using request.queryparam.queryparam name flow variable. And then you can take an action saying like uh, modifying the variables before you send the request to the backend. Similarly, whenever the response comes back from the backend, there are query, there are flow variables available that you can use. For example, response.header.header name. You can do some API management or transformation before you send back the response to the client. Let's take a look at a simple use case where we can use flow variables. Let's say there is a backend system which is kind of a legacy and accepts the request of search on a header. But it's not an ideal design when it comes to REST principles if you want to expose this API to the client. Ideally, you want to send the search query param in a query param. But how can you do a transformation from query param to header before you send the request to the target backend? Let's take a look at how Apache Edge can help. You can read the query param using the flow variable request.queryparam.queryparam name, and then you can create a new variable header before you send the request to the target system. We can leverage out of the box policies like assignment as policy to do this. Let's see how we can quickly able to do this. I'm going to create a new proxy called flow variable demo. I'm going to use HTTP bin target API, which simply echoes the request that is sent to the system. I'm going to add an assize masses policy to modify the request and read the flow variables. So I'm going to use this code. As you can see, assign message policy, uh, you can use it to modify the request. I'm setting a new header. I'm reading the query param that is sent using the flow variable. And I'm removing the query param before I send the request to the target system. Let's save this proxy. And let's make a call with question mark search is equal to one, two, three. As you can see, there is a header, find me is equal to one, two, three. Let's take a look at the trace to understand better. So Apigee Edge requests, Apigee Edge, Apigee Edge receives the request with query param and assign message policy reads that using the flow variable request at query param dot search and creates a new header, find me, and then removes the query param before it sends the request to the client. So that's how the that's how the flow variable works in Apache Edge. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions on community.apache.com. Thank you.